गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज एनर्जी ऑफ ऑर्बिटल्स एनर्जी ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑर्बिटल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन डिपेंड्स ओनली ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ एन एन मीन्स प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर बट मल्टी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एटम डिपेंड्स ऑन एन एज वेल एज एल मीन्स प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर एज वेल एज एज इमुथल क्वांटम नंबर In case of hydrogen atom, one s orbital, the energy order of different orbital is first one s orbital that is less than as compared to two s equal to two p. That is also less than three s is equal to three p is equal to three d. These orbitals have same energy. Means the two s and two p orbitals differ in shape. but the electrons present in these orbitals that must have same energy the orbital of same subshell having same energy is called as degenerate orbital in case of hydrogen atom there is only one electrons and no shielding effect the electrical interaction present in hydrogen atom that is the attraction between the negative charged electrons and the positive charged nucleus the different orbitals like s p d f they of same energy levels having the same energy the one s orbital in a hydrogen atom is most stable and it is this is called as ground state and the electrons are residing in these orbitals that shows lower energy and is most strongly held by the nucleus if the electrons is present in the 2s and 2p or higher energy in an in a hydrogen atom it is called as excited state it is unstable state which is uh, not possible under the ordinary condition but for multi electron atom in these atoms for different subshells energy is different the main reason for having the different energy of subshell that is the mutual repulsion among the electrons the energy of an electrons in an orbital that is affected by the nuclear charge principal energy levels and the presence of electrons in the lower energy levels the shielding of outer shell electrons from the nucleus by the inner shell electrons this is called as shielding effect or screening effect this is the nucleus having positive charge and these are the electrons these are inner electrons and these are outer electrons this positive charge nucleus attract the electrons towards itself so here attraction takes place but in electrons and electrons repulsion takes place so when the electrons attracted by the nucleus then it cover the surface and it shield the electron surface so the shielding of outer electrons this electrons from the nucleus by the inner electrons is called as shielding effect means this electron screen up or shield up in case of s orbital screening effect is greater than as compared to p as compared to d and as compared to f because in this is s orbital it is strongly tightly bound by the nucleus so it shows greater shielding effect but in case of f orbital means attraction is less and here 
less energy is required to remove the electrons so shielding effect is uh, depend on ionization energy so f orbitals easily remove from the shell so it's a uh, uh, have low ionization energy the net effect positive charge experienced by the electrons from the nucleus is called as effective nuclear charge it is called as z effective means the positive charge that is experienced by the nucleus that depends on the repulsion and attraction of the electrons towards the nucleus so the net positive charge that is shown by the electrons from the nucleus this is called as effective nuclear charge z effective decreases with increasing shielding effect the electrons present in s orbitals that are more strongly tight tightly bound to the nucleus as compared to the electrons present in p orbitals so the p orbitals electrons that will be more tightly bound as compared to d electrons so the energy of electrons in s orbital that is lower means more negative as compared to p orbitals which will be lower as compared to d orbitals and so on now the next topic is n plus l rule according to this rule the lower value of n plus l for an orbital then lower will be its energy means n plus l is directly proportional to the energy if for two orbitals the value of n plus l value is same then the one with the lower value of n will have the lower energy here we take one example n means principal quantum number l means azimuthal quantum number suppose this is the orbital 3d orbital this is 4s orbital here n plus l value n value is 3 this one and 4d orbital l value is 2 to so 3 plus 2 5 here 4s n plus l value n value is 4 and 4s orbital l value is 0 so it will be 4 so the energy order is 3d is greater than 4s means 4s comes 4s value is lower where n value is lower that will have lower energy so 4s have lower energy as compared to 3d and it is filled first the energy of orbitals in the same subcell decreases as the atomic number increases now the next topic is filling of orbitals in atom first avo principle second hans rule third pauli exclusion rule now first is avo principle avo principle states that in the ground state of an atom the orbitals are filled in the increasing order of their energy like in this sequence 2s 2p sorry 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d because 4s have lower energy as compared to 3d according to n plus l rule 4p 5s 4d 5p 6s 4f 5d 6p 7s and so on this is done according to this table this is the arrow table how to make the arrow table first write 1s after that 2s 2p 3s 3p 3d one increase 4s 4p 4d 4f that will be same 5s 5p 5d 5f 6s 6p 6d one less 7s 7p one also less 
this is the arrow table this is filled according to n plus l rule this table means the orbitals are filled in the increasing order of energy the electrons first occupy the lowest energy orbital that is available to them and enter into the higher energy orbital then the lower energy orbitals are completely filled starting from the top the direction of arrow shows the order of filling of orbital which is starting from the right top to the bottom top first 1s after that 2s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d 4p 5s 4d 5p 6s 4f 5d 6p 7s 5f 6d 7p so in this case 7p has highest energy now the next rule is hans rule of maximum multiplicity means pairing of electrons in the orbitals belonging to the same subshell does not takes place until each orbital is singly filled it means if the electrons present in same orbital then the electrons are same in charge and they are repel each other so due to minimize this repulsion the two electrons move as far as possible by occupying different degenerate orbitals or if they have parallel spin here we take one example this one nitrogen atomic number 7 its electronic configuration is 1s 2 2s 2 2p 3 in case of 1s two orbitals are present in opposite spin two electrons are present in opposite spin in 2s orbital two electrons are present in opposite spin in 2p orbital three orbitals are there and three electrons are present means these electrons are singly filled until all the orbitals are singly filled until the pairing of electron does not takes place in case of 2p for this electron spin is plus half for this electron spin is also plus half and this electron spin is plus half that is equal to 1 by 1 1 by 2 means 3 by 2 but for 1s orbital one is plus half other is minus half that will zero in case of 2s orbitals also one is plus half other is minus half that is also zero so here the spin multiplicity is 3 by 2 if the pay, uh, if the elect orbitals are singly filled until the pairing of electrons does not takes place but if the electrons are filled in this manner means uh, total 7 electrons 2 or 2 after that 2 uh, one is uh, parallel another is opposite and after that one is again parallel means here spin multiplicity is for this electrons plus half this is minus half this is plus half and that is the half the term multiplicity means the total spin of unpaired electrons that is maximum it means this is maximum in first option but this option is incorrect so maximum multiplicity is 3 by 2 so here the filling of electrons in orbitals that is correct in case of first option so this is wrong because here spin multiplicity is less now the next principle is pauli exclusion principle 
it states that no two electrons in an atoms can have the same set of four quantum number it means an atom consists of two electrons so the value of n l m s these quantum numbers cannot be same only three quantum numbers values are same but fourth one is also different or you can say that only two electrons exist in the same orbital and these electrons must have the opposite spin means an orbitals can have maximum of two electrons with opposite spin here we take one example two electron in an orbital suppose th these are having one is a, a, a parallel spin another is anti parallel spin or one is anti parallel another is parallel means these are in opposite spin but incorrect is that if both are parallel if both are anti parallel this is incorrect means maximum of two electrons that are filled with opposite spin because of multiplicity half minus half that is equal to zero for two electrons n l m have same values but s value is different that is either plus half or minus half this value is different means s spin quantum number is different but n l or an m value will be same now the next topic is electronic configuration of atoms electronic configuration means the distribution of electrons into orbitals of an atom how the electrons are arranged in different orbitals first atomic number symbol and electronic configuration in this table how to write the electronic configuration first atomic number 1 symbol is h electronic configuration these are shown by arrow table first is 1s in s orbitals maximum 2 electrons can fill in p orbital maximum 6 electrons can fill in d orbitals total 10 electrons can fill and in f orbital total 14 electrons you can fill so here we can fill 1s orbit 1s orbital means s orbitals having two electrons you can fill but here the atomic number is 1 so we can fill only one electron 1s1 helium 2 he atomic number 2 it means two electrons will fill 1s2 this cell is filled completely if the atomic number is 6 this is carbon 1s2 after that 2s2 2p6 means total 6 electrons 2 plus 2 plus 2 to total 6 electrons are present in atomic number 11 symbol is sodium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 because after 2p electrons goes to 3s orbital 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 10 then only one is left to that goes to the 3s orbital 3s1 atomic number 19 symbol is potassium k 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 after that after 3p electrons goes to 4s that is 4s1 because these are uh, 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 6 18 18 plus 1 19 now next atomic number 21 that is scandium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d1 because in case of 3d only one is left total these are 20s next is 24 this is the exceptional case here of chromium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 here 4s2 and 3d4 that should be come but this is the exceptional case because the electrons are completely filled or half filled due to half filled its configuration is more stable so this become 4s1 and this become 3d5 this is exactly half filled because s orbitals having two electrons 
so it having only one electron so it is fully uh, sorry half filled and in this case d orbitals also having 10 uh, electrons so it it having only five electrons so it is uh, half filled so exactly half filled is stable configuration is more stable configuration so in uh, also in this case uh, atomic number 29 that is copper 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 uh, 4s2 3d 9 it should be this in this manner but due to the uh, half filled and completely filled configuration its configuration become 4s1 3d 10 now next is zinc 30 zinc 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d 10 1 to 30 atomic, atomic number only these two are exceptional cases so these are very important for your exam now the next topic is stability of completely and half filled subshell first is symmetrical distribution of electrons symmetrical structure is more stable because the completely filled or half filled subshell because of the symmetrical distribution of electrons so these half filled or completely filled that are more stable in the same subshell the energy of electrons that is equal but their distribution is different so the shielding effect is less and the electrons are more strongly held by the nucleus so it becomes more stable now second point is exchange energy means two or more electrons with the same spin present in the degenerate orbitals of a subshell can exchange their position and the energy released during this exchange this is called as exchange energy if the number of exchanges is maximum then the exchange energy is maximum and more stability means the extra stability of half filled and completely filled subshell that is because of small shielding second point smaller repulsion energy and third point larger exchange energy here we take one example suppose these orbitals having one electrons this is 3d orbital having one electrons that are filled in parallel spin these electrons can exchange with this orbitals this this and this means here five electrons are present four exchange by electron one same in this uh, electron 2 that is exchanged by 3 exchange 1 means second electrons goes to third orbital second electron goes to fourth orbital second electron goes to fifth orbital means 3 exchanges are there third electrons goes to fourth and fifth only so 2 exchanges are there and fourth electrons can goes only in 1 fifth orbital that is means 1 exchange by the electron number 4 thank you students